Definition 6.34, tree gamma. A tree gamma G over sigma is a quadruple. Sigma S R P, where 1 R is a set of symbols with R intersect sigma equals to the empty set called non-terminal symbols. 2. S in R is a distinguished symbol called the initial symbol. And 3. P is a set of productions of the form N produce Q with N in R and Q in sigma R star star. We will sometimes call sigma the set of uh, terminal symbols. For T1, T2 in sigma R star star, we will write T1 produce T2 if there exist words XI and YI for I in the set 1 or 2, a leave N in R of uh, T1 and a production N produce Q such that T1 equals to X1 and Y1 and T2 equals to X2 Q Y2. Clearly, we can extend the notion of uh, produce inductively as we did with uh, the yield symbol and uh, hence for T in sigma R star star, we say that T produces star to T prime if and only if there are T1, T2, T3 and so on until Tn such that T1 produces T, uh, T produces T1, produces T2, and so on, produces Tn, produces T prime. We refer to such a string as a derivation of T prime from T. Finally, we say that T is in L of G if one T is in sigma star star, that is, T has no remaining non-terminal symbols, and two, there is a derivation of T obtainable from S using the procedure, the productions of G. Lemma 6.36 Grammar Normalization Lemma Suppose that there is a tree grammar G accepting L. Then we can compute an equivalent grammar G prime from G with the property that if N produces T, is a production of G prime, then the height of T is less than equals to 1. Furthermore, we can ensure that G has no productions of the form N1 produces N2 with both N1 and N2 in R of G prime. We will call such G prime normalized. Proof. First, note that all productions of the form N1 produces N2 with both N1 and N2 in R can be deleted, provided that we add to P all productions of the form N1 produces Q with a Q in sigma R star star minus R such that for some N3 in R, N1 produces star to N3 and the P contains a production of the form N3 produces Q. Now suppose that N produces T is a production of G with the height of T which is greater than or equal to 2. Then the root of T is of the form G1 dot A, uh, G2 dot A, and so on dot A, G, M for some A in sigma and G, I in sigma R star star. We augment R by adding new non-terminal symbols, M1, M2, M3 until M, M, and uh, add new productions of the form M produces M1 dot A, M2 dot A, and so on, dot A, M, M. And uh, M, I produces G, I. It is evident that the grammar obtained is equivalent to G, and in this way, we can normalize G. We can now state our first generalization of a clean syntactic characterization of finite state languages. It is difficult to credit the following theorem to any author or set of authors. We refer the reader to the historical notes at the end of the section. Theorem 6.37, a tree language L is finite state if and only if there is a tree gamma G with L equals to L of G. Proof, let L equals to L of G with G a tree gamma by the gamma normalization lemma, we can suppose that G is normalized. For each N in R, 
let root of n denote the set of labels of roots of trees q with n, n produces q, a production of g. If uh, a is in sigma, let root of a equals to the set of a. Finally, if uh, c is in sigma union r, we let entry of c, the entry state of c, be the set q0 if uh, c is in sigma, and the entry of c equals to the set qc otherwise. For each n in R, we will create a state qn. Now consider a production n produces q, if uh, q equals to b in sigma. Then we will create a transition, delta of uh, q0 b equals to qn. If uh, q has height 1, then q is of the form b1 dot a, b2 dot a, and so on dot a, b, m. For some a in sigma and the b1, b2, b3, until Bn in sigma union R, we will associate new states Qi prime equals to Q B I N Q prime for one less than equals to I less than equals to M and the transitions of the form delta of the tuple entry of B I and root of B I equals to Qi prime and delta of uh, Q1 prime, Q2 prime and so on until Q M prime a equals to qn. The point here is that the leaves of q are either labeled with some symbol m in r or they are in sigma. In the latter case, the only possible entry state that the automaton can have is q0. On the other hand, if the leaf is labeled m in r, then it can only be replaced by another tree in sigma r star star via some production of the form m produces q prime. Now we know that the entry state to Q generated by such a production will be the exit state of Q prime, which will be QM. The symbol that uh, corresponds to the production M produces Q prime will be uh, the root symbol of Q prime. Conversely, suppose that M is a tree automaton accepting L. We need to construct a tree gamma G for L. For each state QI of M, we will have a non-terminal symbol qi corresponding to a transition of the form delta of uh, qi1, qi2, and so on until qim a equals to qk. We have the production of the form qk produces uh, qi1 dot a, qi2 dot a, and so on dot a, qim. We also have productions of the form q0 produces lambda and uh, S produces QD for any acceptor state QD. The reader should establish by induction that L equals to L of G. Exercise 7. It is also possible to get another characterization of finite state tree languages via regular tree expressions. We need a definition. Definition 6.38 Product of tree languages. 1. Let L W in sigma star star. For A in sigma, the A product of L and uh, W is the language L dot A W obtained by taking trees T in W and replacing every occurrence of A as a leaf of T by a leaf T pri of L. Different leaves can have different T pri. If no occurrence of A occurs as a leaf of T, then this action is taken to be vocus. To we denote by L to the star A, the A star of L. The A star of L equals to the union of L dot A, L dot A, and so on dot A L, where the L appears with n times and the, L, the A star of L equals to the unions of n times of uh, dot A of L, such that n is greater than or equals to 1. Definition 6.39, regular tree expression. A regular tree expression is defined uh, by induction via the following. 1. Empty set is regular expression. 2. If A is in sigma, then A is a regular expression. 3. If X and Y are regular expressions and A is in sigma, then X dot A Y 
is a regular expression. For if x is a regular expression and a is in sigma, then x to the star a, a star a star of x is a regular expression. 5. If m is greater than or equal to 1, a is in sigma, and uh, x1, x2, x3, and so on to xm are regular expressions, then so is x1 dot a, x2 dot a, and so on dot a, xm. 6. Nothing else. Of course, uh, we associate a language L of alpha with a regular expression alpha. This is defined in the obvious way. L of the empty set equals to empty set. L of A equals to the set of a singleton, a, singleton A. L of uh, X dot A Y equals to L of X dot A L of Y. L of uh, A star of X equals to the A star of L of X. And finally, L of X1 dot A L2 dot A and so on uh, dot A X equals to the set of uh, t1 dot a, t2 dot a, and so on dot a, t, m, such that t i is an L of x i. Naturally, we say that L is regular if and only if L equals to L of alpha for some regular expression alpha. The true analog of a uh, Klein's theorem, theorem 6.16, is provided uh, by the following. Theorem 6.40 For sigma star star, a language is finite state if and only if it is regular. <laughs>